molecular cloning the molecular cloning is the basic tool of gene manipulation or is ko uh, steps may divide kiya ja sakta hai no what are the different steps of gene cloning or molecular cloning the first step of gene cloning is the isolation and fragmentation of source dna now what is the source dna source dna it may be the whole genomic dna from any organism from where you want to isolate your gene of interest or even this may be the DNA that has been synthesized in vitro from the RNA or even it may be the PCR amplified product of the DNA and even we can use uh, DNA that is uh, in vitro synthesized so the source DNA may be of any type and if the source DNA is the genomic DNA then it can be fragmented fragmented ka matlab hai ke isko kata ja sakta hai into different segments isko hum kaise fragment kar sakte hain we can fragment it by using different type of restriction enzymes especially type 2 endonucleases that can cut the source dna at specific point and can generate number of dna uh, fragments that may also contain your gene of interest no you have digested you have fragmented your gene of interest now it is ready to be inserted into a cloning vector now what is a cloning vector cloning vector it is a genetic element that has the ability to replicate independently because of its own region of replication so we we can go to the next step that is joining the dna fragments to a cloning vector with dna ligase okay. so here we can cut the vector dna with the same restriction enzyme that we have previously used for dna digestion we have to use enzyme use karna hai jisse humne apna source dna jo hai usko cut kiya hai so that uh, in most of the cases depending upon the restriction enzyme uh, we can get the cohesive end no cohesive ends they are the uh, single stranded uh, dna segment of the uh, double helix of the dna uh, that can again bind if complementary base pairs are available otherwise in some cases a uh, blunt end they are also produced that can be uh, joined or ligated by applying different techniques now uh, we have inserted our uh, gene of interest into the vector and then the next step is the introduction and the maintenance of the host organism we have our recombinant vector hai, that contained our gene of interest we will introduce it to a suitable host organism so the simple uh, uh, source hai, suitable host organism ka, it may be the bacterium ke koi bacterium ho sakta hai, like e coli ho sakta hai bacillus ho sakta hai so it will multiply and it contain variety of recombinant plasmid and uh, some cells will also contain our gene of interest now how we can screen uh, our gene of interest are the transformants from thousands of microbes that constitute a gene library or the DNA library why because it contain number of transformants with our gene of interest or even some other fragment from the source organism or the source DNA so next step uh, will be the detection and purification of the desired clone we will select those transformants that contained our gene of interest how we will select we will discuss 
uh, in the next diagram and once we select it then we can produce number of copies of that clone to get our desirable end product now what strategy we will use to carry out this whole procedure that is the gene cloning first step is that is the source dna source may be of any time and here suppose it is the genomic dna that is labeled here as the foreign dna it will be fragmented by using restriction enzyme and then after its digestion into different fragments then the vector which is suitable cloning vehicle which may be a plasmid it is also digested with same restriction enzyme that we used for foreign dna and here it produced uh, sticky ends that is single stranded single strands of dna with double helix and next step is the ligation here and once it is ligated then it is ready for the next step that is introduction of recombinant vector into a host how it will be clear in next diagram so you will understand in a much better way in this diagram the dna cloning in a plasmid vector permits amplification of dna fragment so suppose here is our gene of interest here is our gene of interest and here is the plasmid vector that we can use it as a cloning vehicle and it contain a selectable markers here it is the ampicillin that it contain genes that can provide a selectable advantage for the microbes to grow in ampicillin medium which is an antibiotic now in the next step we will ligate our gene of interest into a plasmid vector that contained our gene of interest and here as i mentioned to you that it contain very important marker which is the ampicillin and onward we will transfer this recombinant vector into the host organism which is a bacterium so when bacterium will grow on the medium that is supplemented with ampicillin so only those transformants that contain our gene of interest they will be able to grow there in the next section this plasmid it will multiply into the host organism so that it will produce number of copies of the microbes and then next laborious steps will start that how we can clone or how we can find our desired clone from millions of cells by proper screening so we will discuss this topic onward